Don't wind him up. Yeah, George, you're not going to be doing my ending. You've been doing my ending. Should we leave? I'll shut the door for a second. Josh, just get last man. Okay, I am with Oaksway Netball Club after round four of the ENG under 14 Youth Netball Premier League Northern Conference. Oaksway, um, two great games today. Um, you played Oldham initially. I thought match play wise, unbelievable. I love the way you played netball. It's very fast. It's similar to Oldham, it's similar to Kingsway Power. Um, overall score is not what you wanted because you, you lost the game. I think it's 40 20 something, but the score didn't really reflect the match play. Initially, they went into a lead, but then in the second quarter, you got it back and they started panicking. And, you know, you always know when the team's panicking, when the bench gets a bit more animated. So um, you, you put them in a situation which they were uncomfortable and um, that was cool, but then just couldn't really maintain that consistency. So um, how do you feel the game went against Oldham initially? I think we did play really well. I think, obviously, the score, I don't think the score mattered but because we played really well and I think we just gluing our team back together. I don't yeah. think the score was a true reflection of the game. Yeah. But I feel like the other team did play really well, and it's always going to be hard if it's against Oldham. And I think we yeah. knew that going into the game. Yeah. No, and obviously, a um, couple of players have um, left the club and stuff, so you're kind of in a little rebuilding project type of thing. But match play wise, it didn't look any a lot different. It was a good for me. It was a class performance, really good performance. Second game, Ribble. Um, <laughs> Hold on, the battery's going dead there. No, I'm still, we're still, we're still live. Um, yeah, so the Ripple game, you started well. Um, it was quite um, aggressive, and um, you know, it's contacty as you as you go saying um, in in netball. I think the fourth quarter it kind of settled down a little bit. In the fourth quarter, what was your mentality like? Um, you seemed to kind of just kind of allow them back into the game and if the game would have gone on a little bit more maybe they could have snuck a draw but you did all the hard work up until the fourth quarter so for you how did the game go there because it yeah it was a it looked, think, looked like a tough I one I think when it was like the break after the third quarter and our um, captains had had a word with the umpire yeah. I think we just wanted to keep it clean at the end of the day and we just wanted to play our netball yeah. and we didn't want to get into the physical fights that with the first three quarters were making yeah. us do so I feel like we tried to just pull it back a bit and just keep it clean. Yeah, I think we were a bit tired of the contact and we just wanted to like take a step back and try and like play a good game of netball. Yeah, I think mentally it looked like you're worn out by the time you got to the fourth quarter, but you you, you got the win and that was um the main thing. Um, I, my score taker kept saying to me, "Where are you? Where's where are these in the league? Where are these in the league?" I kept saying, "The second from bottom." He says, "There's no chance this team can be second from bottom." Um, <laughs> You are kind of you're out the relegation zone now with that win, but with Macclesfield playing Saddleworth at the end of the season, that's probably going to be a win in their favour based on what we know about the league. So goal difference wise, they will jump over you again if you were to lose to Chester. So Chester is going to be a must-win game. You have to win it. There's no other no other outcome. So what's your thoughts on winning that Chester game? Is that a game you can win? Um, do, do those performances beat Chester out there today? It's a game we've got to train up to, I think. When we, whenever we played Chester in the past, it's always been a close game. So I think it's a game that we need to keep in our heads and think, right, yeah. this is what we're training up to be. Yeah. I think the performances today, we could give Chester a good run. And I think yeah. with like, when we train more as a team, we can get better and build up to being Chester. Oh, it's a big game for you because you're in the front of my poster, right? <laughs> <laughs> So you need to stay on the front of that poster. So, um, if you... <laughs> so um, yeah, big game against Chester. Well done. Two different games you played there um, and you got through them very, very well. So well done, Oaksway, and we'll see you again on April. I was telling everyone April the 22nd. It's not, it's April the 15th. So I'll see you on April the 15th. Well done, Oaksway. Thank you.